everyone, it's Sharon and today we are talking empties. I've got my little trash bin all filled up. I also have a couple of like hair items I wanted to share with you. Normally I keep like my bathroom kind of empty separate but there wasn't a whole lot this month and I wanted to just get through them all. So if you are interested, let's go ahead and talk about what I used up. Okay, I'll start first with the few items that are here in front of me. Um, that are non-makeup but beauty related. Um, so the first is, surprise, surprise, a, a Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. One of my very favorites. I've gone through so, so many of these. Absolutely love them. If you're looking for a great beauty balm to remove your makeup, this has hands down been my favorite. It's worth it full price. If you can get it on sale, even better. But I already have another one of these in backup. I just love this stuff. Okay, this is technically cheating. It's not an empty, but I am decluttering and I want it gone because it gives me a headache. And that is from Heritage by Mindy McKnight. I think I got this at Walmart. It's a Lazy Day dry shampoo. Honestly, I think it worked well. My hair felt nice after I used this. I think it did soak up the oils. It didn't leave like a crazy re like residue and it didn't feel like yucky. Like, you know, some dry shampoos feel like gritty and yucky. It was a smell. It was too strong. It was still a nice smell. Like when I first smelled it in the store, because I do that, I spray it to smell before I buy. Don't tell on me. Um, I thought it smelled nice. But it's one that like once it's in my hair, I can smell it like all day. And every time I use it, it gives me a headache. So it's got to go. Toothpaste I used up. I'm going through toothpaste like crazy since I have my Invisalign and I have to brush my teeth like five gazillion times a day. So this is a Crest Gum, Gum and Breath Purify Deep Clean Toothpaste in Fresh Mint. I really liked this. I'm using another kind of Crest right now. This one I would buy again, but I bought a like multi-pack of toothpaste at Sam's Club. So I'm going through that. <laughs> but I did like that toothpaste. This I just bought another one of and I got it in the like jumbo size. Just got it today. Look how gigantic. Here's the regular that I used up next to the jumbo. I was so excited to see they had a jumbo because that'll last me for a long, long time. This was recommended to me by my hairdresser. She's where I first bought it from. It's the Miracle Creator 20 Benefits Multitasking Treatment. I don't know, total results 20. It's like a leave-in conditioner, detangler, heat protectant, one of those things like 20 different benefits all in one. It's really good. A kitty's walking down my road and it's real cute. I say cats are kind of like babies right now. I like to look at them, but I don't want to bring them home. Anyone with me on that? Okay, love this if you're needing a good detangler. It's not like the most expensive product you could get at the, at um, like Ulta. That's where I got that big one. Um, I think the big one was 28 and this one was under 20. So not crazy expensive. Right, I did use a Living Proof Perfect Hair Date Dry Shampoo. I bought this on the recommendation of Daryl Ann Dinner because she raves about it. She's on Instagram. If you don't follow her, you should. She's fun to watch and I buy a lot of what she recommends. Um, I did like this, not as much as she did. She has like crazy back stock under her bathroom sink, like 20 or 30 bottles I feel like. I got this big one and I still have I think a smaller can too. This is like a jumbo. I liked it fine. It's not my favorite dry shampoo. I just spit too. I hope you didn't see that. Um, yeah, I liked it fine. Not my all-time favorite. Lately I've been really loving um, this Moroccan oil dry shampoo. This has been my favorite. So I probably wouldn't buy this again because it is expensive. Okay, so on to everything that's in my makeup trash bin. Let me just take the little lid off here and we'll dive on in. Um, first is a pack of makeup wipes I used up from, these are the Members Mark brand, so Sam's Club. You'll know I typically use the Kirkland brand from Costco. And the last one is at Sam's. These were on sale, so I picked up a box because I thought, We'll try these instead. I like the packaging better on these. They're cuter, but these have a smell and I don't like the scent. So um, I have a million of them now though, so I'll use those up. I won't buy them again. I will stick to my Kirkland. I like that better. All right, we've got a perfume in here. This is the Jennifer Lopez Perfume in Promise. I love this, but it doesn't last. It smells great. This is kind of like what I call a musky perfume, but still very feminine doesn't smell like a man by any means but it's not it's not floral it's not fruity I don't know what the notes are in it so I can't tell you 
Um, I have another one of these. I have a big bottle that I need to open up because I love it. But I, I have to use this like a body splash. Like spray it all over and even then like I'll go to my husband and be like, how does it smell? And he's like, I don't smell anything. <laughs> I smell it for a little bit, but I don't think it's one that has a great staying power. I'm not even sure if she's still selling it. It... I think the quality wasn't really there, but the smell is really good. So like, I don't know, if you see it cheap somewhere, pick it up. Um, I'm gonna use my other bottle that I have because I do love, love, love the smell. I just don't think it stays really well. Okay, I've got a couple brushes in here. These are both from Morphe. Actually, they're the same exact brush, I didn't realize. It's the M441 brush. It's like a, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be like natural hair, but it's, it's synthetic blending brush. It's scratchy! scratchy 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 like it is rough on your hand it's not but on your eye it is and I don't like it and I have a lot of brushes and I'm not keeping these because they scratch my little eyelids okay, I've got a eyebrow pencil this is from wet n wild it's their retractable brow pencil in taupe so it's one that has a spoolie on one end and the thick like triangular base there's technically a tiny tiny bit left in there I could probably get one more use out of this, but honestly, I'm so over it. I wanted to move on to the next thing, so I'm putting it in here as an empty. It is good. I'd buy it again. I like it. I'm just using something else I already had. Okay, this is a sponge. This is the e.l.f. beauty sponge. It is dirty because, of course, I didn't clean it before throwing it into the empties bin. Um, it's nice, but I feel like I had to pull out a new sponge a lot faster than I would normally. Um, it really kind of dented and cracked up. You can see probably little bits, you know, because of course you got to like squeeze it really hard when you're trying to clean it. And I feel like it got, let me see if you can see if I bend it back. It got too many little divots in it where it really messed with like the application and I didn't love that. So I'm not going to buy this again. Okay, I'm decluttering the, well not decluttering, is it empty? The Profusion Cosmetics Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner. This is one where the, like, the tip has just gotten too beat up because it is very, very fine, you can see. Um, so it's just past its prime and like, um, well there it looks good because I think it was sitting down like this. But the point itself is getting really hard to work with because it's just been beat up. So I do love, love, love this liner. Um, you can see right there in that swatch how black it is. Just the tip is just beat up. I can't, I can't use it anymore because I can't get a sharp, precise line because it's just like, it's just banged up. I don't know. You know what I mean. More makeup wipes. Here's that Kirkland brand I said I like. Um, okay, a skincare product. This is the Ultra Repair Fo Face Moisturizer. I believe this was a sample in a Ipsy or Birchbox, something like that. I really like it. I liked it so much, I bought a full size. It's really nice. Okay, last two products are nail polishes. Um, the first is this out the door top coat. I really like it, but it's really thick. If you can see down in there, it's kind of pinky tinted. It's just old and gloopy and bad. So had to get rid of it. I did use almost the whole thing. And then this polish right here from Believe Beauty, which is the line that Dollar General carries. I got this two years ago maybe and it's a beautiful light purple you can see I love light purple nails I've got them on right now and um, this is a gel polish that I did myself this chipped so fast it was not even funny like I did them at night and by morning they were chipped it was crazy so I'm sorry because the, the color is outstanding it's everything I want in a light lavender polish like I want it to be so light that it's almost kind of white but like has some color and this lavender is my favorite way to do that. It just chipped really bad. Like one of the worst polishes I've ever had. All right, that's everything I've got for you this month for empties. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.